I'm surprised there are owls here, too. Yeah, there are more of them around than I thought. I wonder if something happened. That blazing sword's turned out to be even stronger than I expected. <clears throat> With that much sheer power, elemental types are hardly a concern anymore. You can bring practically any foe down to their knees in a flash. Don't count on me being able to pull off another Gates of Fire. That only happened because I had the help of that spirit vessel monster, too. Still, you did defeat Balsef with it, which means it can also take down the other lords. That's enough for me. Besides, if it was any stronger, your body wouldn't be able to handle it. Have you forgotten what happened after we finished off Balsef? No. But aren't you scared of having that much power inside of you? Even a little? Why would I be? Power provides opportunity. You don't expect me to simply throw it away, do you? No, I get it. It's a good ace to have up our sleeve, that's for sure. I'll make the most of it. Well, as much as I can without becoming charcoal. What? <laughs> Shion. Why do you keep people at arm's length? You're always trying to wave it off whenever someone's nice to you. Like with Tosa just now. Why couldn't you just accept her gratitude? Our interests just happen to overlap. I don't want people thinking I'm doing things to be nice when in reality they benefit both of us. All I care about is that we hurry up and defeat the Lords. See? That's what I mean! You want to defeat the Lords. I may have been skeptical at first, but now I really believe you meant it. Yet despite that, you still took the time to help out those injured Danans, didn't you? I did it because it was necessary and I got roped into helping out. Is that the same reason you helped that kid in Balsif's castle? Because it sure didn't look that way to me. <sighs> You've helped me too. Not just with my injuries, but by being there for me as well. Even though I can't feel pain, the injuries I get from using the Blazing Sword could probably kill me. That thought alone should be terrifying. But I know you'll always be there by my side, ready to heal me. It's because of you that I can wield the Blazing Sword! <sighs> Don't just close in on me like that! <sighs> If you get any closer, you're going to set off my thorns, you know. I was just trying to compliment you. You were? <sighs> what now? 
Xion, your thorns. It's okay. I'll stop talking about it. You... you will? In any case, I'm just glad that you're the one who ended up with the Master Core. Thank you, Xion, for everything. <sighs> now let's go check out those gates of fire. Everyone's smiling and laughing. Yes. Nice. <laughs> what? <laughs> Right. Mm-hmm. Sure. What? I'm not so sure. Mm hmm Okay, off we go. 
I don't see any soldiers or their pet zoogles. Just strays roaming around. They must have split once Balsef kicked the bucket and they had nobody left to obey. Not this way, I guess. Don't take yeah. your eyes off the prize. I'm, I'm quite aware we got... This could be useful. monster that appeared from the spirit vessel and the power inside the blazing sword 
but both born of the same thing. It's all astral energy harvested from the souls of dying Danas. I suppose so. And it was the Danans who gave their lives for today. Their power, after all this time, is what finally destroyed Balsif and his wall. By the way, what happened to all the energy that we released? It's dispersing and spreading across Dana as we speak, finding its way back to where it belongs. And all the energy the Renans have harvested? Where does that go? One Sovereign's decided, I mean. I wager they don't give it back, right? <laughs> what? Can't tell the Dan in that? Or about why you want to kill all the lords? Oh, like you don't have anything to hide? The Blazing Sword. It's powered by the burning astral energy of the Master Core I possess. So why don't you explain how it manifested into the shape of that beast, hmm? Just how did you manage that? How am I supposed to know? My memory's a complete blank, remember? <sighs> <sighs> Fine, be that way. It's not like we ever trusted each other any... Another companion, maybe. She's still not awake? Not yet. Her injuries aren't serious, but she's severely weakened. Must have been quite a fight. There's nothing we can give her? If only. What with the beatings we've taken lately, we're barely getting by on the little provisions we have as it is. That bad, huh? If there are no supplies here, then... That's it. We need Doc. Doc? The same Doc that took care of you? Yeah. He's back in Mosgul. If anyone can help us, it's him. In that case, would you mind asking for us? I'd go myself, but I'm tied up here for now. Not a problem. Leave it to me. We've reached our destination. I wonder what that girl's deal is. Never imagined anyone would ever come from outside the walls of Calaglia. It's really not that big of a deal. There are more realms out there than just Calaglia, you know. Maybe it sounds normal to you, but I've been behind those walls for as long as I can remember. Of course I knew there was more out there. But it sure didn't feel like it when unscalable walls are trapping you in. I hate to burst your bubble, but the rest of Dana isn't much better. The world's full of lords who are just as bad as Balsef. I know. That girl must have had her reasons for coming over to our territory. Even so, it's nice to see there really is life beyond the walls of Calaglia. It might not mean much to you, but that's reason enough for me to be happy. We've reached That's our destination. I hate camping out.
But a opponent like this should be easy. By the I'm no fine weapon material when I see it. so quiet from now on no one is going to be whipped or killed here ever again hey there doc hmm who are you it's me iron mask though these days i go by alfin i finally remembered my name alfin i heard that was the guy who brought down balsif wait you're telling me you're the liberator of calaglia our own iron mask of all the people I told you, I'm Alpha now, and I didn't overthrow Balsef alone. Even so, that's no small feat you've accomplished. And you managed to get your face back, too. That woman with you, the Renin? You know about her. Only what I've heard from rumors. I wasn't sure I believed it, but now I suppose I must. Doc, she... Thank you. You sure you should be saying that to a Renin? I'm not saying it to any old Renin. I'm saying it to you, young lady. I only helped because it was in my interests as well. Of course, I would imagine as much. But that doesn't change the end result. The two of you defeated Balsek, and now all of us are free. That is a fact. Thanks, Doc. I should be the one thanking you. I'll never be able to repay what you two have done. Anyway, I'm guessing you didn't come here just to catch up. Uh, right. We need your advice. We found a girl who's collapsed from exhaustion, and she needs medicine. Do you know anything that could help? Hmm. If she's that weak, she may need a nutritional boost. The herbs I have here won't be enough. Oh! Have you tried searching Kirt Garrison? No. We passed it on our way here, but... With all the Renin soldiers gone, that place should be empty now. If we're lucky, maybe they left something you can use. Good idea. We'll take a look. Keard Garrison. If I'm not mistaken, that's located off to the side of the railroad tracks. Wherever it is, just make it quick. look happy do I I guess I am getting thanked for everything by someone I actually know it made it really hit home that we made a difference that guy's a strange one though doc I don't think he's that odd he is though he thanked me a Renan for helping despite everything my people have put him through over the years he's free now he doesn't have to act nice around my kind he's not acting he means it. <coughs> and like he said before he was thanking you as an individual, Xion, not just some Renan. That's what makes it so strange. Would you have preferred he yelled and threw rocks at you? I'm not saying that. It's just hard for me to understand him. <sighs> We've reached our destination.
could be useful. I won't forgive you. Our work is done here. Let's move. I'm right behind you, Shion. Like this should be easy. Oh, not good. <sighs> Looks like we won. Well then, let's keep moving. Think this is it? How would I know? It matches the description we were given, at least. No use standing around here hemming and hawing. Let's take it back and see. I hope you're right. There's no way I'm coming all the way back here. Just to be safe, I think before we head back to Ulzavan, we should. Maybe have Doc double check this is the right stuff. All right, but let's make it quick. <laughs> 